Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Greetings, everyone. It's me again, Ishmael Abdul Haq. All good. Coming to you live again. Um, reading from my book, the first book, book one, Everyday Islam, 365 Days of Living Your Life for Allah. That's book one. Also, there is book two available also on Amazon. I'm getting right to it. Bismillah rahman rahim uh, This is an important topic. This is day 76. Staying in your lane. Y'all need to learn how to stay in your lane. On Facebook, on Instagram, Snapchat. All these things is based on you being in somebody else's business. Or you putting too much of your business out there. Stay in your lane. Trust me. When you mind your own business, life is way less stressful. Have you ever sat in traffic for a long time and discovered there was a slowdown due to an accident on the opposite side? And you're like, why everything so slowed down? And you look over, there's nothing in your lane that's causing the slowdown in the traffic. It's... Everyone looking on the other side, minding their, somebody else's business that's slowing down the traffic. They call that rubbernecking. The same thing happens with your life. When you are minding someone else's business, it's hard to stay in your lane when you're looking everywhere else but forward. The more you gaze at someone else's life, wishing for what they have, the smaller your own life becomes. Allah says, Bismillah, Yea, the same that has made for you the earth like a carpet spread out, and has made for you roads and channels therein, in order that you may find guidance on the way. That's in the Quran, Surah 43, 10. 43, 10. Stay in your lane. Live within your means. Heed this advice and you will never go wrong, inshallah, God willing. Don't let people that don't matter distract you from your goals. When everything negative is going wrong in your life, when everything negative is coming your way, Probably, it's probably because you're in the wrong lane. Stay in your lane. Imam al Nawi, in his book of 40 Hadith, Hadith number 12, it states, on the authority of uh, Abu Huwari, Radi Allahu Anhu, who said, the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, part of the perfection of one's Islam is leaving that which does not concern you. So the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, part of your perfection of your deen, of your faith, of your practice, is leaving that which does not concern you. Trust me, when you mind your own business, life is way less stressful. And I say this in all love, family. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Stay in your lane. And this is coming from my book. Everyday Islam, 365 Days of Living Your Life for Allah is available on Amazon. Also, don't forget to subscribe, then like, then share. Subscribe, like, and share. I think it's the opposite. Subscribe, like, and share. And in the description, you will see a link if you want to buy a copy of this book. Okay? Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum again. Bye-bye.